Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engine, better known as the one-handed mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Working on a John Deere D100 series today, and I'm gonna show you how to install what they call, John Deere calls the wheel spindle assembly for the front wheel. We had a, a customer come in and we basically put a, um, a tire on it with new bearings and everything. We noticed that the, the front wheel is very wobbly. And what happens is the wheel spindle itself, which is this guy right here, what happens is this, Right underneath here, if you do not grease these enough, they get a really bad indentation right here from wear marks because they actually use metal bushings instead of uh, bearings now, and these wear out. So today we're going to show you how to install a wheel spindle assembly on the left side. And just so you know, I'm not going to show you the part number because they may change from the different 100 series tractors. So if you come around to the back of your machine, you'll see that you have a model number right here that you need to take to um, John Deere. Call them up, give them that model number right there, and then they'll be able to find you the correct part number. So as far as the tools needed today, from right to left, we're gonna use a heat gun, and I'm gonna use a torch, because I do this um, enough, and I know that I'm not gonna burn something down, but heat gun is a way to get your, your uh, plastic hubcaps off, or actually the dust caps off, because they can get very hard and brittle, so this will heat them up to get them off. We can also use a, uh, this is a little pick that has a, a little hook on it that you can pull them off with. We're gonna need a, a pair of pliers, a channel locks. You're gonna need yourself a, I'm, a 3 8 ratchet. I'm gonna use a 3 8 electric ratchet. We need a screwdriver, a half inch wrench, a 17 millimeter socket to get the bottom nut off, and a grease gun when we're all said and done. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna jack up the front end. Be careful how you guys jack it up. I usually try to get the center, the center bracket for the mower deck. That usually gets the front end up off the ground. That's all we gotta do is get the front end up off the ground. Now I've done this enough to be able to use a torch. I'm just gonna heat up this cap. This cap gets real brittle. I wanna show you. This is a brand new wheel, and look at all the wobble. It's got brand new bearings on it and everything. And we'll, once we get this apart, we'll show you. Now I'm gonna use my little hook because this is so pliable now. This is very, this was extremely hard and now it's real pliable. Now it's a very greasy mess right here. And I'm gonna use a rag, clean this off for you guys. And there's a little C-clip in there. You just use a flathead screwdriver. And be careful, this could shoot across the room. Oh, that just fell right off. Now, that shouldn't be that easy. You should The clip should be a little bit... Um, we're going to actually get a new clip because this clip is very, very loose. Pull off this washer. There may be a few washers on here. I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to pull your tire off. And I'm going to actually get another rag. I'm going to clean off the spindle a little bit and so I can show you guys how, the, uh, how that looks under there. I'm not sure if we're going to get a good view of this, but from a side view, you should see the big gap. This is made because it was not greased properly, and this is the bad wear part. And at this point, you need to replace this. So now we have a couple different things we got to do. One, we have to take off the bottom nut here. This is a 17 millimeter socket, and well, 17 millimeter nut, but this is also on top there is a half inch. We have to take these two off. We also have to take this cap off here, which is gonna be another one of these. This one's pretty stiff right here. Now at this point, I'm actually gonna raise the hood. I don't wanna get any kind of heat near the hood. Like so. And I think I'm gonna take off the bottom nut first. So we're gonna get your half inch wrench on top. All right, I think this is gonna be, it might be metric because that's really, really tight. But the half inch will go on. Might be a 13 millimeter. Now, this is a little bit harder for me, but you guys get the gist of it. All right, so that comes off there. You can just pull this off, set it to the side. And you gotta take the cap off here. Now, I'm also gonna heat this up a little bit. You gotta be careful where you put the heat. You don't wanna get near any kind of oil. Use the heat gun. It's probably the safest, best, safest way to do it because you can burn it very carefully if you're not careful, that is. You can burn it very easily if you're not careful. And I'm not gonna pull too hard because once this gets really warm, you can actually put a hole in the caps pretty easily. I'm just trying to save the caps. Caps aren't that much money. Three, four bucks maybe at John Deere if you just wanna buy a new one. There we 
go. Another greasy mess on top. Get down to the bottom of this. And it's another C-clip. Just trying to find out where the C-clip is. Right, there it is. I'm just gonna take a screwdriver in here and pop it out. Like so. Has a washer on top. And you just drop this down through. So that's our old one. Time to put the new one in. Gonna go ahead and slide this up. Make sure you have it facing the correct way because they do have stoppers right here. You know, like one way. So you wanna make sure that you have your, your spindle facing outward and then backwards. You got the washer. Now, the pair of pliers will help you clip these back in a little bit easier. And be careful because it can shoot across the room if you're not careful. And if you pick this up a little bit, it also will help you have a little more room when picking the bottom of the spindle up. So it gives me a little bit of a gap right there so I can get the pliers in there. Make sure it's snug and tight. If your cap is still pliable, which ours is, we can go ahead and put the cap back on. And you probably wanna clean out all that old grease anyway that's there. It's a good idea to clean out the grease. Go ahead and put our steering rod back in. 17 millimeter. Remember, you're gonna grease here when we're done too. All right, now we can put the wheel back on. Oh, and there is one thing I wanted to show you before I forget. Sometimes, just like in here, there is a washer that is missed. And we actually did miss it. There's a washer in here that has to come out. So I'm gonna get a small magnet or a uh, very small screwdriver. Okay, so I have a small screwdriver and it was very hard to see, but I've done this so many times. It's a big spacer washer, and it definitely, it's definitely needed because you have to gap out the rim. It puts the space in between the rim so you don't have too much space. So don't forget to check to make sure you have all your spacers. And you're going to put your wheel back on. And then this also has washer, big washer here. And we're going to go ahead and find a new clamp i didn't like how loose this clamp was if you need to you can get these at john deere or you can go to your local hardware store john deere's it's just easy enough to when you get the spindle get it get it at john deere okay so here is the, the new one here is the old one you can see that this one is a little spread all right so we definitely want to use the new one okay so putting a new one on and again like i said use a pair of channel locks or pliers and carefully pinch down until it, it clips in like that, make sure it's clipped in. Make sure you're locked in. And then we have, now this got very stiff. And like I said, for a couple bucks, you can just go ahead and buy a new one. And I'm gonna heat this one up real quick. So definitely use a heat gun. Once this is on here, it's really easy there, right there. Now, once that gets cold, it's actually gonna get stiffer and it won't ever come off. All right, so at this point, we're gonna turn the wheels around. We're gonna get ourselves the grease gun. Find your grease fitting on the inside here and what I do is I try to grease up the wheel at least 15 20 pumps I'll even go more this wheel is brand new actually and we have to fill up the hub inside so I fill it until I feel it get a little stiff and then once it gets a little bit stiff then I stop and I spin the tire a little bit. There it is. I just saw it come right out right here. Okay, so now I'm going to take this off. I'm going to spin the tire. And that just makes sure that we have it 
it's starting to form around the inside. And then I'll give it like one more pump. Like just like so. All right. Then we wanna go ahead and clean up the inside there. You don't want grass sticking to the grease. So I try to clean all this up. You just want it on the inside. Now, here is the axle. And you're gonna also give this a couple pumps and you'll see it come out the bottom. And then you put it down off the jack. And then we'll give it one more pump and it should either, it's gonna come off the bottom and the top. All right, a couple more pumps right there. And we're gonna go ahead and clean it off. And you can only, I mean, you can only do so much, but you try to get the excess off and we're good to go. Okay, so that pretty much sums it up on how to install this. And like I said, this is a very common problem with the John Deere. And hopefully you can see that. But that's from lack of lubrication. So remind yourself that these machines have to be greased in the front because they do have the bushings. I do have a video on how to remove the bushings on the wheels and you can go to roller bearings. It's a kit that I have and I'll have the in a link description below for the video on how to get rid of your bushings and go to bearings. That's pretty much sums it up for this video. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends about my channel. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll catch you on the next one.